So I was reading this really interesting website and I was reading a section about transistors and how they can connect together one stage to another stage for like small amplifier circuits like this one. I built the circuit and it seems to work. I'm speaking into just a regular 8 ohm speaker and that is uh, going into the capacitor into the base of the first transistor. That signal then is amplified um, and passed to the emitter of the second transistor. But I'm not exactly sure that it actually starts like that because there's another way of looking at this and that's that the load resistor on transistor 1 which I'll show you in a minute and I'll show you the circuit but the load resistor on transistor 1 has a voltage go through that is connected to the base of the second transistor and the load resistor is connected to the collector of the first transistor but there's also a tap going to the, to the base of the second transistor which then allows current to flow from the collector to through the emitter of the second transistor. There's a feedback resistor coming from the emitter of the second transistor which then feeds into the base of the first transistor. Mm -hmm. There's also a capacitor connected to the emitter to ground of the second transistor. And that acts as well, like a shock absorber, but there's quite a high gain to go between these two transistors as there's no coupling capacitor. This is what they call direct coupling, and so having that capacitor there, it just keeps um, control over the gain um, as it takes time to charge and discharge. Now I don't know, I don't think that's the best overview of how this little circuit works uh, because on the website it's described in much more detail and much better than what I just said. But I'll show you the circuit. Oh, you got a speaker, that's what I was speaking into. And now you can see that's connected to the negative side of that 10 mic capacitor and it's connected to the ground of the circuit. We've been powered at 6 volts from over there and well, I'm just going to show you how it's laid out there I have just like put it out uh, and I'm going to show you the circuit on the web page this is another circuit from a fantastic if you know if you, if you want to get into learning electronics uh, this is a fantastic website I'm, I'm getting so much information from here and this is the circuit the website is called talkingelectronics.com this is belongs to a chap called Colin Mitchell I would uh, really advise you to or suggest that you should Google Colin Mitchell talking electronics and you know watch his uh, watch some videos that have been done with him and uh, Davey off EV blog but yeah it's just a little lamp circuit But it works, well, it, it, it seems to, uh, it, it definitely does the job. It definitely does the job. The very small signal that's happening here as I'm talking and this is moving and the, the coil that's wrapped around this moves with the magnetic field and, you know, breaks up flux lines and causes a, 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 a current. Um, it's very small, two, two, two uh, millivolts peak to peak um, voltage, I should say. And then when it comes out of this side, as you can see on the scope, 
uh, it's taking up three to four but clipping on four of the um, of the division boxes the voltage uh, division boxes and uh, now we're getting battery it's like oh, that's brilliant because that thing's been on for absolute hours uh, it's doing quite well it's doing quite well actually i quite like this this scope four hours of continuous use four hours to charge it back up again um using of course you know the old batteries from the solar panel over there hey, hey. Uh, the other one's gone that one over the weekend uh, oh that's it that's that a uh, nice little uh nice little beep though not a nasty like you get on some of these um, some of these things but anyway there you go i just want to show you that little circuit it works i'm gonna give myself a thumbs up for that and i've got a lot to learn about these things there is so much to learn there's lots and lots of pages just about this and how this works lots and lots of pages but uh yeah i don't normally say this but if you like you know if you like this sort of thing and uh, from a complete a novice i'm a novice i'm nearly one year in to this um so i'm an enthusiast uh but if you like this sort of thing and give us a thumbs up subscribe and uh I try and put out at least one or two videos a week, even though I know they're not very good, but they'll get better. That's all I can do, really, I'm hoping, is get better. So, cheers for watching.